Hi everyone, welcome to Varshita Education. Today, uh, in our video, we are going to create a service now Jira integration with a flow designer. Okay, for this reason, I need to just open our personal developer instance so we can call it as a PDI. So, in our PDI, uh, just open. So, we'll click on all, and then after clicking on all, just we can. Uh, just type a plugins area so because we need to uh, install a plugin for the Jira and just simply click on plugins and now you can see uh, in our service now area we already uh, have different different type of plugins are available now I need to search for the Jira spoke plugin and now so whenever we search the Jira spoke plugin and you will get the Jira spoke plugin here and simply click on it and simply uh, click on install so whenever we click on install and uh, see uh, this Jira plugin has to install successfully it will take little bit time to install it and uh, we'll wait for so uh, 5 to 10 minutes and after 5 to 10 minutes successfully it will install in your service now application now um, Jira spoke application has successfully installed in our service now area and then after completion of this successful installation so first of all i uh, will go to the uh, service now flow designer area so see here actually uh, as a zira spoke has successfully installed and now after completion of this installation now we'll go to the all and we'll click on so flow designer now we can see here um, again i will refresh this one and simply click on all and now so type the flow designer simply click on flow designer in this flow designer so we already um, so used different different type of flows in our flow designer area but so we need to utilize the service now zira integration so that's why uh, just whenever you open this zira uh, application means so, uh, simply go to the integrations area and um, so whenever we click on integration now we can see all the inbound and outbound plugins are available so we can search for the zira application whichever just now uh, installed and click on add connection and now see here we have so different different type of parameters are available you just provide the different type of parameters for this um, connection parameters we can use it like a uh, connections so for this reason uh, i'll just open my zira account so i just already created service sorry zira account and in that uh, zira account so i am just going to log in in my zira account and um, so we'll copy the uh, api tokens also so that's why you can see here simply i'll open my zira account see here zira cloud is there so we'll click on zira cloud and i'll just open zira platform and it is a very simple by using of your gmail account or google account you can create your zira uh, with the free of cost and now this is my dashboard of a zira so we'll go to the profile and uh, go to the account setting so here whenever we click on account setting and it will open uh, like a security passwords and everything will be available in this area now you can see so we'll go to the security and this api tokens are available so in this api tokens i will click on it and previously i already created a different different type of api tokens and verification is also sent to our mail and whether it's a um, so genuine or not it will send one um, otp to our mail id so i just copy that otp i'll paste it here okay verification was successful and after verification now i need to just revoke all the uh, APIs whichever we created previously so that's why uh, so it's a uh, fresh one and now I will start creating a fame new API okay so I'll provide a suitable name for this API so service now Zira okay and uh, what does it means expiry date is also available you just provide the expiry date we means so whenever this API keys has to expire so we can provide the particular uh, dates okay and um, so simply i'll click on create whenever we click on create then automatically uh, it will send a api token so i'll just copy that token and i'll paste it in my uh, 
flow designer area now you can see that api pass key is there now so i'll just paste it here and provide the api name so what does it means like a hey, username is nothing but api name i'll just uh, copy that api name and i'll paste it here and i'll provide i will give a suitable name for this integration like a hey, service now zero integration or service now in, uh, zero so whatever maybe just as per your uh, requirement as per your uh, knowledge you can just provide any name and now it is a uh, see here url also there so i'll just copy my um, zira url see here varshita institute dot atlation dot com is there like this so just i'll copy that varshita institute um, name in that url and simply i'll paste it here and then it will be cloud platform or it is not for the server right the cloud platform simply click on save so whenever we click on save then automatically it was configured it will connected with your zira account and successfully connected and now you can see if you want to check the details also available it will be and if you want to multiple uh, connections if you want to create it you can create it multiple means that it will accept that uh, more than one also so here that is a above is a one more configure is also available if you want to configure it to one more uh, zero account you can configure it but as of now i'm not providing multiple uh, configurations simply i use only one configuration okay now and after completion of this one i need to test whether so these uh, zero connection is working or not so that's why i need to create a uh, one flow in my flow designer area for this reason i'll simply click on new and click on flow and now so it will ask about the uh, name for the flow and simply i'll provide the um, flow names like a zira testing or something you can test for the zira anything you can just provide the name and after completion of this one simply i'll click on build flow okay so i already just given that name okay i'll provide that is a different names and simply i'll click on build flow right so now we can see here the uh, triggers are available and actions will also be there in this triggers and see here zira spoke is already installed and uh, see issue created i'll just use it as a if any issue is created in your zira then there is a trigger point and after triggering the point we can just use it as a actions also now we can see here see there is a the triggering point is there and zira spoke whenever uh, issue is created from the zira and i need to just create a ticket in our incident table so that's why i just simply use it actions in this actions create record okay so in this create record area we can select that create record mm, yeah so it will be available and i'll just click on it and in which table we can create it means that is a incident table right so i'll just select the incident table incident table and uh, we can add some field values also because so whenever the record is creating at the time we can test it right so just manually we are just providing that so simply uh, one incident has to create incident record is creating with the um, zira integration right simply i'll just give any description value and i'll just save it okay that's fine i think uh, we are just creating one issue in our uh, zira area so in our zira application i want to create it and if you want to debug it or if you want to test it whatever it may be as your as per your uh, requirement you can test it or otherwise sometimes debugging also it's a possible and now in our um zira area i'll just create one issue and now we can see that it is a testing <coughs> so we can provide the description and as well as see according to that uh, zira what requirements are there everything i'll provide it so simply i'll just give all the details and then simply click on create right so necessary details i'm just providing here once see and right i hope everything is fine so step by step is a manually i given that all the details and simply create it and now one issue was created successfully so here and by using of this issue we can just uh, we can create a new incident record in my 
service now incident table okay so i'll check it once again the description is same as it is or not everything is clear or not right i hope everything is clear okay so simply i'll click on save right so if any modifications or anything you can if you want to do it you can do it that's it so as of now everything is fine and now we need to test for the um, record creation in service now area okay now let's we move to this uh, flow designer and we'll click on debugging and now so before that once of uh, once i will check the how many incident records are available in service now area so i'll open uh, i hope see 120 records are available i mean i need to check that uh, whether so new re incident record is creating or not while just testing a like a debugging or testing in a flow okay i'll provide the uh, details here so simply i'll just give a informations for the um, zira spoke okay i'll paste it here Yeah, anywhere you can uh, just paste it because it is a testing purpose because just we are using the body and like a tag name like a different different type of things are there so as per your um so information so what is the issue number or tagging number anything is there just you can paste it here okay so if you want to just use or anything you can just provide but i just i'm just providing these details and simply i'll click on debug so whenever we click on debug so we'll see so one new incident record is creating so we'll see that and we'll click on run the debugging okay so now you can see here so incident record a record was created and the incident record number is also given to us and we'll check it the really incident record was created or not for this incident or that means integration area so okay, yes so it was created one new incident record and see i'll open that incident record right see here so this is a description uh, what i given in the description um name flow designer area everything is successfully created whenever we debug everything will be created successfully okay now so this is a service now zira integration by using of a flow designer if you like this video please click the like button and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe if you want to learn the service now flow designer course check the description we have given the link there for more details please contact 9246768293 please leave your valuable comments in the comments area Thank you for watching. Bye.